Welcome back to How to Authority. Now, buying a brand new TV has gotten kind of difficult with how many buzzwords that are flying around, like mini LED or QLED. So, in today's video, let's actually discuss what those things are, why you should even bother with them, and other things you should look out for when buying a new TV using those technologies. So, first of all, what is QLED. Well, this is a pretty standard panel, which you'd normally find in most displays. The Q stands for quantum dot, which is a completely different method of displaying colors on the display. As you can probably gather from the name, quantum dot is called quantum dot because of the miniature size of these very small little dots that allows a TV to have much more vivid and strong colors, greatly increasing the color gamut of the TV. Basically, how many visible colors it is able to represent in an accurate manner. So that goes a long way to ensure that the colors are bright, vivid, crisp, and accurate to what the supposed to look like. It is becoming a pretty standard technology with many modern panels using Quantum Dart to make sure that the image looks as good as possible. But then there is a mini LED. Well, what's the deal with that? Well, mini LED is all about the backlight, which is the area of a screen behind the colored pixels that produce the light. Now, for the longest time, there has been a very big demand to make that lighting control as granular as possible. One solution to that has been OLED, where every single pixel produces its own light. However, OLED does have its issues, like for example burn-in, and also the fact it can't get as bright as a regular panel. That is where things like mini-LED come in. While it is still not as granular as OLED, where again, every single pixel produces its own light, so you can have potentially millions of local dimming zones with mini LED, you're not quite at that scale, but still good enough where it's almost OLED-like, while it doesn't have those other downsides of OLED, making it another very promising technology when it comes to TV displays. So both of these have their pros and cons, and it really comes down to you at which you prefer. Things like QLED, for example, don't have those perfect or near-perfect blacks that an OLED or mini LED could have, but it gets much brighter and has much better colors. So it really just depends on what you personally prefer from your display, and of course, what you can get on a good deal. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then remember to subscribe to How to Authority for more like this in the future.